passion runs deep among fans of the beautiful game. And today, shock and fury as they learn of one of the biggest potential shake-ups in European football. It will kill the game. It will totally kill the game. It's just greed, you know. Twelve of Europe's top clubs have agreed to start a breakaway European Super League. The plan? A guaranteed seat at the elite table, where there is no danger of demotion to a less prestigious league, no matter how badly they play. At stake, the potential to make big money. It effectively removes the principle of competition and meritocracy from sport. The relationships that clubs have with their communities, uh, with their fans and indeed with their players. A sentiment echoed by cab driver Ram Ismail, who is also director of Enfield Town Football Club, England's first fully fan-owned team. Absolutely distasteful. When you look back in history, uh, football was created for the working man. A new elite league, he says, sends the message to small clubs like theirs that they've been left behind. Because it breaks up that dream, that dream of uh, a small club can climb the leagues and become a premier division football club. Prince William, a huge football fan, is the latest to weigh in. He watched his own club climb the leagues last season. He says, now more than ever, we must protect the entire football community from the top level to the grassroots. Football governing body UEFA, the Premier League and the British Prime Minister himself joined the chorus of condemnation. We're going to look at everything that uh, we can do uh, with the, the football authorities to, to make sure that uh, this doesn't go ahead. Here at Emirates Stadium, Arsenal fans could soon take in games from this new league. Those defending the plan say the Super League will bring together the world's greatest clubs and open a new chapter for European football. But if and when that chapter kicks off is anyone's bet. Tessa Arcelia, CBC News, London.